What's going on everybody? It's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the new CDL Road Test parking maneuvers. Now I know there's been a lot of mystery behind this new CDL Road Test. Well, if you're looking to get a CDL license in 2023 or later, you're definitely going to have to understand these new parking maneuvers because it's completely different than it was in the past. Some say it's easier, some say it's a little bit harder, but the states that have already changed over to this new test, as many people from before, who have failed are failing the same exact rate. So let's see if with the proper training here at Driving Academy, we can actually improve those numbers because we think we have the secret sauce to get anybody ready to pass these maneuvers itself. So the main things are gonna that change are gonna be, we went from a three maneuver test to now it's four different maneuvers. Now you might be thinking, why are they adding more things? You'll ex understand exactly why as we break down each maneuver there. The first maneuver is gonna be what's called a front bumper stop. Second maneuver is going to be a classic one called straight line backing. Third maneuver is then going to be a forward offset. And the fourth and final maneuver is going to be a offset backing, right? So let's show you exactly on the board what any of this stuff looks like. So we're going to assume that this is what the uh, facility, testing facility looks like. The cool thing if you're a student here at Draven Academy, you do have access to our actual third party testing facility, which means you don't have to go to a DMV. Now not each one of our locations has a third party testing site depending on what state that they're actually located in. But if you do look for a location that does have third party testing, we could definitely help you out here. Or you just go to a local DMV, it's going to be the exact same thing. Now. So from bumper stop, you're gonna start off uh, in the vehicle here. Most cases, you're gonna start off behind right over here someplace, right? Your goal is gonna to be to make sure that you move this vehicle forward until your front bumper is in between this three foot box in the front here. Now, the tricky part is, it sounds pretty easy, the tricky part is if you've never done this before, this, once you're looking from inside the vehicle, this is a lot harder for you to kind of judge. I mean, just think about the front of your car, right? When anytime you're making a wide turn or you're trying to pull up to a parking spot that has a tight turn, I'm sure you're always trying to go like this and part of you is just wishing and hoping that you're not gonna hit anything. And now imagine a longer trailer that's gonna make it a lot more difficult for you to kind of judge that distance. That's why training is super important there. We're gonna show you the secrets of the trade on how to make sure that you land this perfect spot every single time because this is either a pass or a fail. The tricky part here is you can't stop halfway through or you can't stop close and then try again. You're only gonna have one shot at this maneuver, which means constant motion the entire time and then once you feel like you're inside the box, you come to a stop. As an example, say for instance, you get nervous for whatever reason, you stop here, you notice, oh no, I made a mistake, let me just pull up, he didn't see it. The examiner is gonna mark you from where you stop right over here, even if your final position is within this box here. Because you only have one shot at this and that's what makes it super, super difficult. And of course, you cannot get out of the truck to look. So, that's what's called the front bumper stop. And that's what you're gonna have to do. From there, whether you pass or whether you fail, you get to move on to the next step. Now the next step is gonna be straight line backing. Straight line backing, you're then gonna pull up, pull up until the back bumper is in front of the front two cones. And the goal is to back up this tractor trailer 100, 100 feet and straight within the lanes. So the goal, the examiner is gonna give you the exact wording on what the instructions are gonna look like, but then you're gonna back up the tractor trailer 100% straight and you're gonna continue backing until the front of front most part of the vehicle is behind the last set of cones. So you're gonna look something like this by the time you're done, all right? You're not gonna look like this, you're not gonna look like this. You have to make sure that you fully understand the directions and you back up all the way. That not understanding directions is, or not following directions, I should say, is a reason why the examiner can fail you automatically now, right? So th this test made it a lot more difficult on the point system. I'm not gonna talk about that because I can't since I'm uh, an actual legal examiner here, so I know exactly how the whole point system works, but the actual point system is a lot more strict on whether it's passing or failing, and you have to do things to the T. So it's very, very important that you listen to the instructions or else you're gonna be going home crying. We hate seeing grown men or grown women cry, all right? So assuming that you did that correctly, you pulled up all the way back here. Now it's time to do the next and third maneuver, which is a front offset, right? So at this point, we're gonna then gonna pull up the vehicle this way. And let me draw a line actually because there's gonna be a line right over here, away from this cone, 
it's going to look something like this. And the goal is, when you're moving the tractor trailer, you want to be turning around and the most rear passenger tire has to touch this line or in between, be in between this line and this cone. If you go on this side of the line, no good. If you touch the cone, no good. So it has to be perfectly within this space. Now this space is going to be around three, two to three feet of space in between there, so you don't really have that much distance. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's easy. Well, imagine having a 53-foot trailer behind you and not really knowing what this kind of thing does on the turn. So at this point, what's going to happen is you're, you're going to pull up straight without hitting any cones, because of course cones are like people and dogs and that kind of stuff. And then you're going to come around here and you have to finish off something like this. And you have to make sure that you cross over line or are inside line without touching the cone itself. And once you do that, you're then going to stop and the goal is to stop somewhat parallel with the actual line itself and with the outside boundaries uh, as well, right? So make sure that you're inside of there and you're not gonna have any issue. Now, the goal is how well can you actually read these mirrors? These mirrors are lifesavers. And if you come to Drive an Academy at any of our locations, we're gonna teach you exactly the skills that you need in order to pass the test the very first time. So now, we did three maneuvers, right? We did one, two, three. I guess we only have one more to go, and that's going to be one of the most difficult ones. This last maneuver, they kind of put all the hard maneuvers and put it all together. They mixed up like an offset backing, a parallel parking, and an alley docking all in one maneuver, and they said, let's see if these guys can get this done. So, the way that you have to understand this is, this is going to be a solid line right over here. So that means you cannot cross this line at all. And these lines are solid. Right over here. Over here we're going to have a dotted line that connects this open space and that's the space that you're going to have to get into. So the one thing that you do have to understand is driving a tractor trailer is completely different than the car, which means if you want to back up to the right, you have to turn left. And if you want to back up to the left, you have to turn right. I know, it sounds confusing. But like I said, our students get a whole bunch of practice, hands-on time inside the truck, and we'll be definitely be able to help you out. So you're going to start off right over here. And the goal is to get this vehicle inside of this line, inside this lane without touching any of the lines and backing this puppy up into here and making sure that the back bumper is in between these back two cones right over here. If you go past, mm -mm, that's not good. If you stop over here and you're not inside the line, mm -mm, that's not good either, right? And the other thing is you can't just pull up all the way. You got this boundary line right up front that you can't get past. Because if you do, if you touch any of these lines, like I said, mm -mm, not good. So the goal is to get this back bumper in between the back two cones, make sure that you're inside that box at all times by the time you're done, and you can't finish off like this. The entire vehicle has to be within the entire boundary line itself, and as long as you do that, you shall have no issue of passing the CDR road test. So, like I said, it went from three maneuvers to four, and now you see exactly what is going to be expected of you. If you pass this portion of the test, then you go into the third portion, which is going to be the CDL road test, where you're actually driving on the road itself. But if you don't pass this portion because you make a mistake, you don't listen to instructions, or you don't have the skill set necessary to get you past all this, you're going to have a very hard time. So, if you want to avoid all of that and you want to be guaranteed to get your CDL license, then there's only one thing you should do. Go to our website, cdldrivingacademy.com. We are probably the, one of the few schools, if not the only school in the country, that can guarantee that you get a CDL license. Now, we're not going to do any cheating or anything like that for you. The way our guaranteed training program works, we're going to give you over 100 hours of training plus unlimited tries at the test itself, which means you're going to keep going for the test until you pass at no extra cost to you. So what are you waiting for? Or if you want to give us a call, maybe you're tired of kind of searching online, give our main office a call, 908-525-3609. We can help you out no matter what part of the country that you're in. All you got to do is come on in and we can help you. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. Let's get you in the real world of this thing and let's get you making the money that you're after. But in order to do that, you got to pass the CDL road test and you have to make sure that you go to the proper training school. And you should only go to the best driving academy again cdldrivingacademy.com let's get going i'll see you on the next one hey thank you so much for watching this video if you like it make sure you hit that like button also subscribe to our channel it's really going to help us out click on that button and if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom here's more videos to watch there's endless amounts hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon thanks